Hi guys, so today I'm going to do a book review video. I have five books, and there's a theme to them because four of them are long books, and then one is just short. But the first one is a historical fiction book. It's called The Other Berlin Girl. It's by Philippa Greg Gregory, I don't, I never know how to say her name, and she usually writes a so, so, uh, 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 historical fiction, and she usually writes about, like, the royals, like, she wrote one about, um, she likes to write, like, I read some of books, and they're usually about Henry VIII, but this is about, um, this is what it looks like, I got this at a book sale, and... This book was just okay. It wasn't that great. It was really long. There's 659 pages in it. And the chapters, they're like, they're not like named like chapter one, chapter two. They're named like summer of blah, 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 winter of blah, blah. And some of them are really long. Some are really short. And it took me like a week and a half excuse me, to finish this book, and I really didn't like it. Like, it was really, like, some of the stuff in this book, you could probably just, like, she could have just edited it out, because most of it was just really boring. Like, it was about the bullying girls, and it was about, um, it was about how Henry VIII wanted to seduce both of them, or something like that, and it's about Anne Boleyn and Mary Boleyn, and in the beginning, Mary Boleyn, Anne's sister, was Henry VIII's, like, on the side girlfriend, I guess, because he was married to, um, the Queen, I think it was Queen Catherine or something, and then towards the end, like, maybe, like, at, like, 400, like, the 400th page mark, Anne becomes the, the on the side girlfriend and then queen and she her mary is just she's jealous and she's trying to help her sister through the, these different things but all she wants to do is be with her children that she had with henry the eighth mary's children so yeah it really wasn't that good like i wouldn't recommend you get this unless like you have a lot of free time to read it or you have to keep in mind, like, there were a lot of different people in this book, too. And I don't know a lot about, I mean, I know, like, all of Henry VIII's, like, wives and stuff like that. But I don't know if he, if Anne Boleyn really had a sister. She probably didn't. I don't know. And they were supposed, to, I don't know if this is true or not, in real historical events. But they were both, like, Anne and Mary were both, like, maids to um, Henry's wife at the time. Queen Catherine, I think that's her. Yeah, that was her name. Yeah, so this book, I didn't like either. I got this at a store called Five Below. It was only like $5, and this is called The Handy Anatomy Answer Book. And there's 12 chapters in it. And this is sort of like, it's sort of like a textbook, sort of. So this should probably be for, like, someone who's studying to be a doctor or in college and needs, like, something for, like, a paper or something. But this book was really weird because I don't know that much about like anatomy and stuff like that. I never took anatomy in school and there's a lot of different like charts and pictures and there's a lot of um words I can't pronounce. So this book really wasn't that good and um it goes from like the beginning to the end of a human life, something like that. It's like I said, that's 12 chapters, and each chapter is just about questions. Like, they say, what is this? Like, does the brain size affect intelligence? Do identical twins share the same fingerprints? Do what tissue is in your body can regenerate? Why do men... No. Can taking too many vitamins actually hurt you? Stuff like that. And it's just separated. It's, like, into chapters, and then it's into sections. And so, like, that, and it goes to, like, all the systems, too, like, endocrine, um, cardiovascular, stuff like that. And I really didn't like it. I got a headache from reading this book, honestly, and this is what it looks like. You could probably still get that if I below. They probably have a lot still there. This book I got for Christmas, and it's from Walmart anyway, but it's, um, Stephen King's newest book. It's, um, like, mini short stories. And it's called The Bizarre Bad Dreams. And these are just, like, stories that he never, um, 
well, one, he actually, two, two actually are in print, like, one's a book, and then the other one's, like, a Kindle ebook, but the other ones are ones that he never, um, like, wrote or never, um, published, and then there's, like, two, one or two poems in it that aren't that good, and this is what it looks like. I haven't seen this book out, so I don't know if you can still get it, probably at, like, a bookstore or something, but yeah, most of these, like, in the beginning when I read some of his, um, short stories in the beginning, the first, like, couple weren't that good. They were really stupid, and then as you go on, like, maybe, like, three or four stories in, they get a lot better. And some of them, like, one I read before, so I skipped over that one because I already read it before, and I have the book over on my bookshelf. So, yeah, but some of them are good, and some of them are just, like, why did you want to publish this book? <laughs> I mean, that short story, because some of them are really, they they suck. Some of them really suck, but it's, like, in the middle. Like, some of them are good. So, I recommend you get this book, but it's really long. Like, it's really thick. It's, like, 400-plus pages, I think. And some of them are good. Like, there, it's not, like, a thing where it's, like, two are good and then the rest are bad. Like, I think there's, like... 20 I think short stories so maybe like 15 of them are good and then the other ones are just iffy so I have a lot of like classical literature books so I think in ever I said to myself in every book review that I do I want to try and at least get one classical literature book out and this one I read, sometimes when I read classical books or, like, plays, I usually just do, like, audio book. But this one I couldn't find, like, a good translation because some of them are written and then some of them are translated differently. So, but this one is, um, the Collins Classics. I got this at a book, um, I think I got this at a, I got this at a bookstore and I think it was, like, only, like, $1.97. <laughs> Um, it's Jules Verne's Around the World in 80 Days, and I liked it. Like, in the beginning, it was kind of weird, and I think it only had, it had 37 chapters, and then in the back, there's, like, of this book, there's a glossary from all the words, like, it says, hold on, you guys, it says, classical literature, worlds and phrases, adapted from the Collins English Dictionary, so I don't know if that's just, like, all of the books or if it's just the ones in here. I didn't really, like, take notice to the ones in the back, but this one was really good. It was a short read because some of the, so a lot of the, all, all, all the chapters are really short. They're not that bad, and this is what it looks like right here. You can see, not an interesting cover, but what are you gonna do? That's, uh, this book was okay. I really liked it, though, like, it has a shocking ending, because I, oh, like, I know, like, there's a cartoon version of Around the World in 80 Days, and then there's, like, a movie version. I know in the cartoon version, it's different from the book, and I thought that they, like, I thought that Around the World in 80 Days, like, oh, the guy, the Phineas Fog or something, Frog, something like that. I really thought that he was a little cocky, to be honest, and I think that cockiness came off in Karma, because if you read in the, uh, if you ever read the book, you know why. Um, this, this doesn't have, like, um, oh, it does, Susan E. Edgert and Catherine J. Edgert. This is a book I got at a book sale, and this is called Actions and Value, Values and Action, Life Stories of 100 Famous Women, and this is what it looks like now. I know it looks really thick, but really, I read this book in three days because, like, there's only, like, a few pages per each each person, and it's all about women. Like, it's about, like, there's, um, it says, like, their name and then what they did, and then it has, like, a little life events page. I don't know if you can see it. No, we can't. But it's like a little life events page, like the day, the year they were born, and then the stuff that they did. Like, there's some president, first ladies in here. There's, um, like some royalty in here. There's, um, people you wouldn't think. Like, there's some comedians in here. There's, pe there's scientists, stuff like that. And there is a hundred people in this book. And some of them I didn't know anything about. Like, some of them I didn't know about anything. Like, some of them are, like, in...
Mar Maya Angelou, she's an author, poet, and actor. Susan B. Anthony, the wom women's rights leader. There's, there's, uh, there's a lot of, like, women, women's rights leaders and stuff in this book. And it's really good. It goes in alphabetical order. Like, they don't list, like, here's the number one person who... Women who's famous for doing whatever. It goes in order. It goes in alphabetical order. So, okay, so that this book was really good. I highly recommend you get it. I don't know if I showed you what it looked like. This is what it looks like. And I highly recommend you get it or like find some kind of clips on some inter the internet about it. But this was a really good book. It was really interesting. And then some of the people that I know in this book, I didn't know some of the facts about them. So that was pretty cool. I really liked it. And I highlighted most of this book because some of the facts were really cool in it. So that was my book review for the month of, well, it was for February by Riddley Books in January. Comment below and tell me your favorite book for the for this month or for January. Please subscribe, thumbs some uh, thumbs this video up. I'll see you guys next week with another video.